Hey there everyone, and welcome back to another video. So over the past week, I've been playing around with microwave oven transformers and making arcs of them. But something I noticed about microwave oven transformers is that they don't even make that big of an arc. So I'm going to fix that problem using resonant capacitors. So here's the basic circuit. Mains voltage enters from these leads to this first microwave oven transformer. And that steps up the voltage to about 2,400 volts. Then it exits from this lead over into the primary coil of this uh, transformer here. This just acts as an inductor or as a ballast. That then exits from this coil all the way over to these two microwave oven capacitors. And these act as, uh, these are actually resonant capacitors, so this whole circuit resonates at the same frequency. Then that exits from this lead over to my arcing stick here. So yeah, let's go see some arcs. <laughs> By the way, I'd like to quickly point something out. While I was making this video in the last video, I noticed that alkali elements had the biggest impact on arc size. Now, uh, for example, when I was using sodium bicarbonate on the tips of the electrodes to make the arcs yellow, I noticed that it made the arc size the largest. Now, my reasoning for this is because sodium doesn't mind losing an electron, it hangs around in an ionized state for much longer. That would then cause uh, more free charged particles to be uh, entered into the plasma, and that would then keep the escaping gas conductor for a much longer time as it cools. And this would then cause spontaneous ionization of more and more sodium, and that's probably why the arc size is the largest. But yeah, I'd like to end the video here before this madness gets out of hand and I start making lightning bolt sized arcs. But yeah, everyone, thanks for watching.